Rocker, rocker. What's good, YouTube? <laughs> what a day. I have an appointment. <laughs> uh, but God is good. I'm not even going to be able to go to it, not due to my fault, but it's all right. Everything is meant to be as what's going to be, it's going to be, right? What's good, YouTube? YouTube only? Well, you know with me and Facebook, you know what I'm doing. It's called crystallization and a fraction of the light. And when you have high energy, only your crystallized pineal gland can do things like that, right? Whether it's your head, see? Earth just disappears. See that? I'm one with the most high, so therefore, the power is going to start blinking. All kinds of stuff. Earth disappear. See all kinds of phenomenons when you crystallize. They told me keys know what it is. Braca. I'm just here shooting. You know, we got to put on the remnant of us. Braca, Corey Jackson, got to put on the raiment. You might say garment, the garment of God ain't nothing but the orbs. Orbs is spelled O-R-B-E-S. O-R is light, B-E is in house, and S, of course, is sealed salvation or soul elevation. And when you flip that, that's the robes of God. The orbs in the sky are the robes that we're going to put on. That old, good old resurrected body. That old good old shine that we now understanding that all things have the crescent, crescent shape, crescent form means the yod. Yod means the foundation. This is where we get the tribe of Ehuda, right? It's all up there. That's what we're learning, the gospel up there. As he breathed it to me, I breathe it right back at you. All right? So YouTube, it's something that maybe may be new to you, but that's how we do and translate the gospel. I have a bunch of Facebooks, vids, and old videos that Google allow on this HSE-TV Entertainment. Also, hi, H-A, apostrophe, Mashiach, M-A-S-H-I, A-C-H, Productions with a Z on the end. You can find, you know, some interesting things of just outside I'm showing the gospel of 12 hours ruling in the day. Remember, that thing right there is a spirit. And that part is just a glory. Got a lot of clips on Facebook that shows that, you know. And he's like this big. And he's black as sackcloth. Your Revelations chapter 6. Six seal, right? But we're coming to the seventh. And definitely after that full eclipse, right? We all know that the sun has two faces. One, the cool spot that it turns, and it's the reason why we get freezing hell up there. And every so once in a while, all the lights go out because the hand of God covers the gate and he opens it right back up, just like he said. And uh, at the cross and in the beginning, the bearish shift, right? Remember the chart? Alphabet. A bet is the house. That's what the first starts off with. All right. So that's why you say instead of Jin Isis, you know, if you're scared of Babylon and Isis and Osiris and Ashri, then you can say it in the right way. You say Barre for bet, the house, are first a sheath, shin, eater, destroyer. Sin destroyer. In the beginning, sin caused war. Sin got destroyed. Sin now catching up through sin. But you was taught signs. Through sin, waves, not signs. Through signs, waves, you would understand yourself in the zodiac. I'm BC the Tishvite. BC the Ivet movie. The Maleki, Yahawah. You say Milky Way. Maleki in my language of Hebrew or anybody that is of the spirit, it means kingdom. So where's the where's the kingdom? Oh, it's the 
yang on top of the Milky Way while we look at the yang from under where darkness is at, the shadow, the shadow of the chaos. Because darkness is a light too. It's called prophetic order or el ahwa. You say law, which still equate to love. So, it clears up everything. The spinning of time is the breath of God at a spiral. There's no straight lines. It's why we have signs, S-I-N-E. S-I-G-N is the same as S-I-N-E, sine waves. And through the season, your portal of existence of what your sine frequency wave, right, is senu, sanu, sonar, power. Let there be, and it was so, correct? So if I see this orb right here, follows my daddy, that's the gospel. I don't go look in a book. That's theology, philosophy, or adjective, adjectives of the perspective or perception of what one has experienced, right? But my experience is the air, auto, or alternate, alternate, intelligent reality is the medium. You, you, you hear that? You hear that air from the wind? Because I made all angels win spirits. They have not the fire. They do not have ha, 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 tongue of fire. Tongue of fire in the upper room was the future them coming into the body. Understand? You say, I received the Holy Spirit. God's holy, but the spirit that entered you is holy because it's you. And because it came from out in him and into you and the Trap prism of the spiral of time. Fibonacci. One, two, four, five, seven, eight, zero, back to one. Three, six, nine is the cap cornerstone. And they denied him, right? Right. That's why it's a different frequency. So if numbers don't lie, most high don't lie, then prophecy doesn't lie. Three and one, one and three. Can't have none without this, right? So it's a three-string fold. You, your soulmate, and God, right? Can't be broken, no matter what. But if you just leave God out or leave one of those things out, it could be messed with. It could be tampered. It could be hacked. It could be mimicked, right? But if we stay true to the power and we go outside and we tell everybody, look up, baby, and try to see the spirit of God and how the wind waves connect to your sonar mind of the nerves of the neuron of what they're doing now through radio active frequency through, as you can see, the telephone poles and electrical lines and radiation of how things underneath our foot are still by wire. But you look up talking about the internet's up there when the real strong signal is at the ground. Right. Ever been in the country and wonder why the ground works better than doing this? Because the wire's down there. Kind of like the locked up ones that made this world was beneath our feet. Now they up. These are the same things that constructed your body to make you breathe their existence called oxygen. Because God ain't that. He created that. He, he authorized for gases. And gas is a spirit. Liquid is a soul which makes it mortal because it could be touched. And then you have the soul ID you call solid. Soul ID because when you put soul identity, I can entity ID the entity by your soul, the connection of your two eyeballs, by what you act and why would you speak. Now you two, you tell me, is that not the gospel? Isn't that easy for a baby to get? A baby understand quantum super levels of metaphysics? Better than us. That's what daddy said. My word is as easy as a baby being born. And I ain't never seen a baby. There's some genius kids now. But I've never seen a baby pop out the womb and start reading and talking. Except for Christ in the Muslim book when they were about to scold Mary and kill her 
and the baby say, I'm a servant of Allah, Lewa, or Ahayawa. They said, man, ain't no babies talking like this. And they believe that she was a virgin. Kind of missed that in our Christian book, didn't it? But they say the same thing. Because Joseph wasn't having it. Said an angel well had to come down here and come talk to him. Listen, man. I don't know about this virgin stuff. This man looked at the law to the T. God dang it to put his name in the damn lock. He was like, I don't know about this uh, virgin stuff. I'm cool with everything else. But, uh, Yo, who knocked this lady up, yo? <laughs> Senior Luke's chapter one. Senior Matthew's chapter one. Well, I like you don't know. Say this baby name. This baby name gonna be Emmanuel. You know what I mean? So uh, the Christian hid that because uh, what you call a preacher, or apostle, or prophet, or whatever. And the Muslim, they call him Iman. Oh, man, it's spelled the same way without the L on the end. Uh-oh. Getting too deep now. All right, so uh, we got the Iman. But that's what Muslims looked at Christ and said, Iman, Iman, Emmanuel. You know what I'm saying? And God said, I don't care, man, just as long as you know what I came to this world for and what I've done, and you acknowledge that. I don't care if you call me a man, a prophet, a little animal, and I say animal, I say that laughing, because what are your angels? So when science tell you evolution, they were telling you the truth. I don't know why the pastor didn't jump up for joy. Oh, this is our time now. They don't know. They talking about that the, the scientists lying. Uh, wasn't the world created for man? So they might have been here for a while. But nothing lasts before us because we was with God. Proverbs chapter 8, as the body of Christ. That's, 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 that's what wisdom is to The body of Christ, you know. Because once again, once again, a spirit needs manifestation. And the first part of the foundations of earth, brothers and sisters, is your, as Marnusapusus, <laughs> I'm saying Marsapus, up there. You in the astral plane, that's the breath of God. You know what I'm saying? You ever been outside cold and you saw your own breath? Yeah? Well, if you can do that, what the hell are these clouds up there? Oh, come on, man. Somebody's up there, ha, 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 and blowing their breath, huh? Who is it? There's one that speak when his chosen is need. He don't speak nothing more, nothing less. But there's other chatterboxes up there, just like on the internet. There's niggas that babble thinking they know the spirit, but they know they're Babylon, baby, babbling on the internet. Just a babble. They know those that got the power. Those that got the power tell you straight to your face. We ain't shit. We ain't. I don't even know why God power on us like this. It is what it is. But those that don't got it, oh, they Sagitti type people. Like they knows, man, you don't get your stuck up ass in the stick walking ass, nigga, man. You ain't got it. That's not how you should walk. You should walk in rags. You see this? I look good compared. This is what I call rags. But if I do like Yeshua, Yeshua going to be like, man, you dress too nice. He was in rags. Oh, cotton roll, potato sack walking around. How many times his clothes get washed? We not talking about that. Because... Something that does not stink, it doesn't have a wrong, it can't be proven, you know, not even with molecules and, and atoms. Yeshua couldn't even stink, y'all. He couldn't even, he couldn't even break a sweat just walking in the sun like we do. The only time that is recorded that he sweated is praying for the future generation. He wasn't even praying for. Peter and them, they was already chosen. He, them blood, sweat, and tears came out of this and monstrosity that we are into today with baby pedophilia. People just raping women and all kinds of monstrous stuff. Just barbaric. All right? If it ain't babble, it's barbaric. So, being that we are living in this, and you see these pedophilia creatures running around, acting like it's normal. 
But get on these topics, they'd be like, we want to water down the church because neither you pedophile. Ain't no watering down. Yeshua didn't water down. Yeshua told you what it is. He spoke in parables because that generation couldn't fathom. You know, when I'd be going off and people be like, ain't nobody in the comments going off. But you don't know I'm in the future. I don't know I'm in the future until you say something. I'm like, oh, I'm for sure. I'm in the future now. If I'm going off. That's the same thing. She was going off. The people in front of them like, what are you talking about? But it was the very loins of their own grand, grand, great grandchildren in their own loins that he talking about. Wax, just generation, just old viperous niggas. Look around the day. Then he said, wolves and sheep clothing. Look around the day. See, back in the day, about 30 years ago, you would hear, Holy Ghost power. I plead the blood. Oh, ain't nobody dying of cancer today, doc. I don't know who told you this, but I'm going to show you my God is real. Yeah, ain't hearing too much of that today. This is what you hear today. You got cancer. You're going to die about two weeks. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, when I was a little boy, they wasn't having that. They look cancer. Now, this is back when they didn't have the machines. You had to blow up. You know what I'm saying? Watch the junk blow up and pus and stink and watch that person suffer and die just like that. Oh, they didn't have the machines to put you out quick today like they got today. <clears throat> so I, I see some stuff. I see preachers come in. The name of Yeshua. That's what I say. Is it Jesus of Nazareth? Bam. Cancer gone, they ain't gone, that thing. They live a whole nother 50 years. See the difference in my era of time. I'm only 40. I'm born in 83. Do you see how quick 10 years is really not that long? And the graphicity of technology called the Ouija board, that's what it is, a Ouija board. You don't know what's on the other side of that portal. You got portals in your house. You don't do what you do in the bathroom, what you do in the living room, what you do in your bedroom, what you do in your kid room. So every door you walk through is a, a psychological mind hitting your sensor saying you're supposed to act a certain way. Do you know how many characters you play? Where you at at home, you're not the same that you are in the, uh, 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 around your friends. When you're at church, you're different from when you're at work, when you're with your wife. Do you know how many characters you play? You want, you want to add more demonic things? Man, no one that's schizophrenic is looking so real today. But you don't know who you are. Everybody's telling you what you and your soul are supposed to play like. Instead of you. If my back hurt and you outside of my back, your ass better not say nothing. Oh, do this, do that. Man, you know what I've been through? You know my back. I don't care I'm what you think you're looking at, bro. Do you? Is your nerves attached to my head? No, then shut the hell up with what's going on over here. You just worry about what's going on over there with your head and your back and your body. That's what get people in trouble. But these are the same people who say they with God. See my ordeal? I was like, God, I don't want to be no fake. And I know I ain't going to stop sinning until I get out this body. Ain't nobody perfect, even with the Holy Ghost. Your book tell you that. So go on with the Go on, with, go on with that crazy stuff, all right? God say, be real and come as you are. Everybody around here phony and fake because the ones that understand, they're going to act like they don't never do no sin, all right? And the ones that don't got it, they don't want to hear it because so many fake niggas done been out here, fake snakes, and they just like, well, maybe there ain't no God. You see what I'm saying? See the dilemma that we got as children of the Most High that's why nobody believe until we move the sun or do stuff that nobody, not even a scientist, can explain. Now, we got something running around here, YouTube, to tell you that there's two sides of the face of the sun. Not many know that, but it's in their Bible. Check up Job 38. Read it. Read it very carefully. It tells you about the seal of the middle that lock everything together of the seven spindles. The seven menorahs is the seven spindles of the light in the Milky Way. The dark energy that NASA and them is looking at, right, is the law of the judgments. 
So what they, they're opening things that they deny, but they're still enacting. That's what we call a reprobate mind. You see? And the same thing that happened in Atlantis, Lymeria, we're doing today. We're CERN. All right? You know how a fishing hole look in the middle of Alaska or ice? They drill a hole. That's what we are. And on that ice wall used to be land. Still land there. Right? They, they show us ice. It's land. All right? And that's where Yeshua in Matthew 14 said, we're going to go across the waters. And he sent the disciples first. Right? Now, he was on Rupus Negra. In the Bible, it says he went up to the highest mountain. The highest mountain is Rupus Negra, man. Or they call it Gartha, Gogartha, whatever. Mount Maru, Mount Zion. They got a lot of names. All right? It's the pole of the star. The poles of the star. And in the poles of the star is where Yeshua went to go pray on the mountain. And then he said he looked at the disciples like God did Noah in the boat. He looked at the disciples like God did Noah and them in the boat. And he said he went down there and the disciples was like, a g -g 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 ghost. And he says, has no fear. It's me. Peter says, if that's you. Let me walk on the waters. This where the church come to use everybody. Now, since you know it's Rupus Negra, and since we know we done seen camera pictures fly gl hang gliders and found mountains and lands in the middle of the air, so we know where NASA did their little trick and talking about the moon. We got that clarified. Now, if you look at the whole Earth, the seven continents is that fishing little hole. And on top is land, the land that I told you Yeshua was on. And he just simply told Peter, come on and astro project or remote view on up here. And that's what he did. And then the wind said, wait a minute. Christ, I know. Uh, what's this second orb coming up here naked without no physical or spiritual body walking on the roof of Snegra, which is the roof of the dome of this earth? So it said the wind took him. But the Bible say all winds are angels and angels don't know the word of God. Matter of fact, they wish to know what you and I know. Then they call it a solar system. I'm a soul. I'm damn sure in the system. So therefore, if we put this together, we would see what grabbed. A snake snake grabbed them, the viperous generation. Then Yeshua in the spirit grabbed the soul of Peter, put it back in the body and on the boat and said, ye of little faith. My God. Yes. Yes. All right. And so as we get an understanding that a rupus negra in the center of the earth now, I want you to think that Yeshua saw Satan fall out like lightning in the sky. So water is a portal. In case you didn't know, you're swimming all in it, take a bath in it, drink it. It's portal. You are made of that same water. And that's why your body holds that containment like the earth because it's dimensions. You breathe water because you call it air. Uh, uh, I thought I had some people in here that knew what they do, what they were talking about. Uh, water is fire, air, wind, and earth. Ah, okay, so that's why it records. And wherever light is or power, it's going to try to mimic it or hold it as information. That's where we get fire, lightning. Air is the medium, the barrier, right? The light barrier that travels or could be close enough to the electrical current and carry it somewhere okay. and you have water inside of your body because you got neurons the ether is the same as your neuron because you have a pineal gland and the pineal gland is the same substance of electrical magnetic power and when you are happy in the serotonin Sarah serotonin crystals you spark fire through the seven chakras, what's called the seven churches, the seven seals, the seven days, the seven trumpets, the seven powers, 
It's not nothing outside of you, brothers. It's just, it's just inside of you. And this is why Yeshua can transform on the mountain. And when he transformed on the mountain, if that doesn't awe you, where nobody knew where Moses was born is the reason why Yeshua transformed on that mountain to set Moses free is why you saw he's already taken care of. But nobody knew where Moses was until Yeshua transformed in the twinkle of an eye, right? And took Peter, James, and John. They didn't wake up. They was out of their body and didn't know. And that's why they was able to see Moses and them in the sky. It's the same way as you dream. Today, people still getting taken out of their body, seeing the day of the Lord. Otherwise, we wouldn't be sealed. The Holy Ghost is still here until we leave. And we at that time, we ain't nobody believing. I told you, I'm just 40. 20 years ago, we hear, plead the blood, plead the blood. I ain't accepting no cancer. What's wrong with you? Now, I got cancer every day. Let me call pastor. Call pastor? What you mean call pastor? Now, pastor wasn't there when you was in the room, hide up, geeked up, drugged up, and the spirit of God called you and said, I love you. Come back to your first love. Pastor wasn't there. The voice that talked to you led you to your church. See? That's where we go wrong. That's the confusion. And we no longer look up to God. We look in books. We look in the man. We're not looking within ourselves to the spirit. Is why you don't understand what I'm saying. All right. People do things because they got a void in their heart. They don't need to be told what is right and what is wrong. They need to be filled with the fire. Because trust me, if you got the Holy Spirit power and you got it right, they're going to want to stop doing their drugs and stuff. They're going to want what you want. they be like, man, I want I want to get what you got. That's what people tell me. I just be myself, man. Y'all see me every day. People throwing down Hindu statues. I don't teach that. I just teach the spirit and stay in the eternity. If you want it, you want it. You get it, you're going to get it. So. If you're going to wait outside, if you wait for somebody, you can't stay here for more than five minutes. So you can wait in the park or in your car. All right. Ishe. Shalom. Rakaya.